Good morning. It's time to do our soap together. But before we get started, you're gonna need a couple things. First, you're gonna need your Bible or something you can read the scripture from. Second, you're gonna need a little book or book like paper notebook, something to, to do our soap in, something that has some pages in it. It could be any kind really, or just some paper or a spiral bound if you got one of those. And we need a pen, so a pen or a pencil, something to write with. And then I'm gonna need my reading glasses so I can see our scripture. So <clears throat> before I got started this morning, I washed my hands to wash all the germs away. And now we're gonna do soap because that's gonna help wash our minds and our heart. So we can renew our heart and our mind so we can think more about and think more like Jesus. So our first verse for today is Genesis 1, 1 through 5. Now I'll read them and you can follow along if you can find them in your Bible. If you don't have your Bible this morning, you can just listen. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna write down in my handy dandy book, I wanna write Genesis, Genesis 1, 1 through 5. Just like that. You know, help me to remember uh, what verse we're talking about today. So we've, read, we've got our book, our pen, we've got it written down. So I'm going to start with reading the scripture. So put on your listening ears, put on your thoughtful face and your thinking cap, and let's think about what God's word says to us. So the first S for soap is scripture. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the first day. So we've read our scripture. Now let's think. Let's think. What can we observe? Observe. Oh, S, scripture. O, observe. What can we observe from this scripture? So it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light was good. I have an idea. God said, let there be light, and there was light. So God is powerful. I can write that down. God is powerful. And he has the ability to create light and dark just by speaking. That's pretty amazing. And it also says, and the evening passed and the morning came, making the first day. So God is powerful and he named the evening and the morning. Now, if you remember from our lesson, we talked about that. We maybe we can apply that to our heart today in just a minute. So God is powerful because he created the light and he named the day. So how can I apply this to my heart? So I want to think about it, I want to apply it to my heart. So if God is powerful, he can take care of me. Let's write that down. God can take care of me. And he will. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Oh, there's something I miss. When God saw that the light, that he made the light, he said it was good. God said his creation was good. So that's back to an observation. So if God said light was good and God created the light, God created you and me. And we're part of God's creation. And he thinks that we're good too. Isn't that amazing? We're good. So, we read our verses in Genesis 1. We saw that God was so great and so mighty 
And he said, let there be light. And there was light. And he saw it was good. And he made evening and morning. And so as we think about that applied to our heart, we can see that God is so powerful, he'll take care of us. Because he promised he would. And then God thought the light was good. And God made us, so God thinks we're good too. And we'll talk about that later. And then God made the evening and morning. So remember from our lesson, if you're having a bad day, it's just a day. And you can ask forgiveness and go to sleep and get some good rest and wake up bright and early like today and have a new start and have a new beginning because God loves us just that much. So let's pray about this. So you bow your head and close your eyes and pray with me. And you can pray in your heart. God, we just thank you for your word. We thank you that you created the universe. You created us. And you made us in your image and in your likeness. And we thank you that you're powerful. And you're powerful enough to take care of us. And that you think that we're good. And you love us that much. So God, we're thankful today. We're thankful that you give us a new day and a new start. With new mercy and new opportunities to love and to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we're going to meet each day just like this. So get your book and get your pen and get your Bible ready and get your thinking caps ready so that we can think about Scripture and find an observation that's in the Scripture and then apply it to our heart and then pray over it. So as we read God's Word and we put it in our head, in our heart, it renews us and makes us more like our creator. Remember our verse from this weekend? So we're going to be doing that every day. So we'll see you tomorrow.